Hey everybody, welcome back to the program. This is Masonic Curators, where we are preserving history through storytelling. Preserving some of the unique stories behind the items that we've collected over the years as Masons. Now, today is no different. Today I have a wonderful item to show you that was gifted to me uh, the year I went into the East, back in 2015 or 2014, something like that. Uh, I started out, it was a long road to the East for me. I started as uh, I came into the craft and a month and a half, two, two months later, I started as a junior steward. Then I went to the senior steward, junior deacon, senior deacon, junior warden, senior warden, and then finally was elected master. And it was a wonderful time. I had considered buying a gavel for myself. However, I did not do so because uh, I received two gavels that year as gifts. Now, I was left with an interesting quandary. How would I choose which one to use? Well, the one that was gifted to me first, uh, I decided to use for my business stated meetings. And I had an idea of um, this, this particular gavel. I can't tell you too much about it other than it was passed to the person who passed it to me and I passed it on to another person still. Um, I kind of thought maybe the power within that gavel uh, through so many masters and wise decisions would guide me in my decision. So I used that during my... Uh, uh, monthly stated business education meetings. Uh, the second gavel I got was from a great brother, Brother Stephen Berryman. He has since gone on to do some masterful works. Uh, you can catch him on uh, Facebook if, if you check out Yeti's Gorgeous Grains. So check that out. But uh, he made me this wonderful gavel. It's very nice. It's not too heavy, but it has weight on the end. And it really uh, is a powerful and loud gavel. What I really love about it is its uniqueness in the sense that it is not extravagant. It's not crazy. It's not, you know, all these bells and whistles. It did what it had to do, and that is uh, at portions of the ritual may have caused some people to jump, which I uh, was happy with. Uh, what I also liked about this gavel was the grain on the handle is rougher than up here and whenever I was wearing white gloves the other gavel would slip whereas this one wouldn't and it's an interesting piece he made two of these and I understand uh, another close friend and brother of mine uh, received the other and it was a pair and I guess we're kind of always linked that way uh, and brother Stephen Berryman is the reason for that uh, so this one is for Stephen uh, brother, I love this so much, and in fact, Stephen was cool. He actually came out to a lodge meeting. He was in town once, and he had to sit in lodge with me, and it was a great honor. So that's the story of this amazing piece, um, and I still use it at every degree. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, remember, if you have something cool to share, a great story behind some nifty little item that you've received, Go ahead and check out the submission guidelines on MasonicCurators.com and uh, tell your story. Anyway, for Masonic Curators, I'm Robert Johnson. I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care.